Based on the graph of this normal distribution, we are asked to find the mean, median, mode, and standard deviation. One of the properties of the normal distribution is that the mean, median, and mode are all equal and located at the center of the distribution. So notice 72 is at the center of the distribution, and therefore 72 is the mean, median, and mode. And now we can determine the standard deviation by analyzing the horizontal axis. Notice how almost the entire graph is partitioned or cut horizontally into six equal subintervals, three on the left and three on the right, and therefore the empirical rule applies, which states approximately 68% of the data falls plus or minus one standard deviations from the mean, which for our graph is from 60 to 84. This is actually enough information to determine the standard deviation, but let's finish reviewing the empirical rule. Approximately 95% of the data falls plus or minus two standard deviations from the mean, which for our graph is from 48 to 96. And then finally, approximately 99.7% of the data falls plus or minus three standard deviations from the mean, which for our graph is from 36 to 108. But let's focus on the interval from 60 to 84, where we know approximately 68% of the data will fall. If we label 72 mu for mean, remember this interval is plus or minus one standard deviation from the mean, and therefore 84 must be equal to mu plus one sigma, or one standard deviation, and 60 must be equal to mu minus one standard deviation, or minus one sigma. And the numbers are nice here. Notice how to go from 72 to 84, we have to add 12, and therefore the standard deviation must be 12. Or if the numbers weren't nice, we could set mu plus one sigma equal to 84, where mu is 72, which would give us the equation 72 plus one sigma, or just sigma, equals 84, and then we would subtract 72 on both sides, which gives us sigma equals 84 minus 72, where sigma, or the standard deviation, is 12. I hope you found this helpful.